Okay, folks, um, PA Biodiesel Supply bringing you another vi uh, video. Uh, right now we're in stage two, which just happens to be outside in front of my garage. In case you didn't realize it, stage one is in my kitchen. Um, this one is mounting your unit, or building your unit, I'm sorry. Um, we did try to tape one individually, showing us putting each piece on. It took over 16 minutes. YouTube wouldn't take it. And let's be real, guys, if it doesn't have nudity or sports, you're really not going to want to sit here and watch it for that long. Um, the information we're giving you today is good for whoever centrifuge you have, okay? it's They're all the same. Um, the 55 and 60s either use a one-quarter inch female fitting, one-quarter inch male fitting, okay? Um, the 108s, 120, use a three-eighth inch fitting. The 240s and 300s are going to use a half inch fitting. Um, basically, we bring everything up to 3 8 inch, and like I said, that'll work to your 108. Okay, um, this is a 60. Uh, Teflon tape everything. Okay, use this, it's cheap. If you use it and tighten everything down, you won't have any leaks the first time you do it. Okay, um, we're mounting our unit on a banded drum. Uh, both bungs are gone for venting. Uh, you're going to get all your evaporation out of here. Uh, let me show you the base. Okay, I like the banded drum. Okay, we used a two inch hole saw, we used the gasket as the template, 5 16 inch bolts. Okay, the major thing is when you're cutting the hole, the hole needs to be as large or larger than the hole on the base of your centrifuge. If the centrifuge base hole is larger than what you cut, the oil has a tendency to lay there and then build up accumulating in your rotor, or not your rotor, your base, and it'll slow down the rotor. It'll kind of bog down your centrifuge after a bit. So just make sure your hole is larger than the base, as you can see right there. Um, like I said, I like a banded drum. It's quicker to heat, it holds the heat, and with it being vented, I get all the evaporation. It's one of the major laws of thermodynamics. Hot goes to cold. This is hotter than out here, and guess what? It pulls out. Okay, all the evaporation will take place here. We're using a 60. Um, we're going to go piece by piece. Okay, we have a quarter inch fitting off the centrifuge. We use a quarter inch close nipple. We go to a quarter by three eighth inch bushing. Then we use three three eighth inch tees. Okay, they're all three eighth. First one at 12 o'clock, next one at three o'clock, the next one at nine o'clock. Three eighth inch close nipples. Okay, first one. Um, 12 o'clock, we'll put a 1 quarter by 3 eighth inch bushing, okay? Pressure gauge is quarter inch threaded, and I believe just about all pressure gauges are going to be quarter inch, okay? The second one at 3 o'clock goes to your bypass valve, which is just a ball valve going into the one bung, okay? Brings us out to the third T. At 9 o'clock, we use a 3 eighth inch close nipple, a 3 8 inch by half inch reducer, and then we go with a half inch um, pressure relief valve. This is a 70, it's preset at 75, but it's, um, you can set it anywhere from 75 to 150. Open this up, I believe every turn is equal to 5 degrees, so you would want to turn it up probably 4 or 5 times. You want to probably get it up to 100. Um, if you're running at 90 PSI. Um, main reason for this, all our pumps have pressure relief valves. The only thing is, like if you watched our motor comparison, a pressure relief on the pump is going to buy you five minutes. Okay, an internal pressure relief valve on a pump is, it, it's, it's not this, okay? It isn't a, it, it's just a temporary fix, okay? If you walk away and your pressure relief valve on your pump kicks, um, and you're gone for 15 20 minutes the seals on your pump are shot Okay, so always use an external pressure relief Okay, let's come down here. I 
I believe in insulating the drum. I like household insulation, six inch, six and a half inch household insulation, taped to the back and then wrapped with saran wrap, some kind of a plastic wrap. The plastic wrap tightens it up to the drum, plus if you're dripping any oil, anything, you can wipe it off, okay? I don't like the magnetic stick because if you're insulating, where are you gonna stick it? This one here, I like because my probe is into the oil, okay? So, um, all our kits come like this. Okay. Okay, um, come on down here. I have three quarter inch couplings, okay? Uh, this one will go to a transfer pump enabling you to empty your drum. Over here, the three quarter inch coupling is supplying our pump. Okay, we're going from a three quarter inch to a three quarter by half inch bushing to a half inch close nipple to a half by three eighth inch reducing 90. A three eighth inch close nipple, a three eighth inch ball valve. I use a three eighth inch hose bar, brass hose bar. Uh, we're just showing this, so I'm going to have to take it apart to ship it. Um, that's why they're not all the way on the hose barb. You would probably want to put them up. And if you put these tips, like your hose, in hot water, boil some hot water, take it outside, dip these, they'll slip right up. Okay. Um, over here, since my pump has quarter inch ports, on the supply side, I'm using a quarter inch by three eighth inch hose barb. The quarter inch is the thread, the three eighth inch is the hose barb. Okay. That's the supply side for the pump. The return to the centrifuge is going to be a quarter or a three eighth inch. Oh no, it is a quarter inch. Sorry, close nipple to a quarter by three eighth inch reducer to a three eighth inch hydraulic hose fitting, 90 degree, and it takes it right up with my three eighth inch hydraulic line. I like this way of doing things. Um, I can if a lot of kits just come with a hose bar okay after you use them for a while if you need to pull your centrifuge off for any reason you're gonna have to slice the hose okay any kind of hose that I've had with hose barb after a while it stays there okay this one here you can disconnect the hydraulic hose here you can disconnect it down there you can disconnect the pump so you can always pull the centrifuge and the pump apart okay um, it, it's simple it would take you, if you watch this movie, you could write down every part you needed. Y you know, every part here you can gather at Home Depot, Lowe's, well most. Lowe's has crappy uh, pressure gauges. I wouldn't waste my money. Lowe's is um, pressure relief valves. I don't even, I don't really like those either. Um, but there you have it. It's all pretty simple. This unit here will do everything you need. I don't care if you're processing, cleaning WVO, or running your biodiesel through it. Okay? And like I said, though any centrifuge you have, the only difference is going to be right here on the connection part. Okay, that's the, everything else is good for whatever you're running. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to call us. That's what we're here for. Thank you.